I told you it was eventually going to happen. Kyle Pitts went off this Sunday against the Jets across the pond even, catching nine passes for 119 yards and a score. Looked good doing it. We knew this was coming. He was getting the workload. He was running a large portion of the routes. He was being targeted. And all in all, it's eventually going to happen. The Falcons have been very fluky this year. They've been very up and down. They have not been very encouraging. But with Ridley out, with the offense in a favorable matchup, it was time for Pitts to shine. And he did exactly that. With that being said, let's take a look at the tape. All right, first play we're going to cover. Pitts is on ball. He's on the top of your screen. He's the guy closest to the opposite sideline. Um, we're going to go ahead and run the play here. So watching him get off the line of scrimmage, he's not doing anything fancy. He's really just trying to get downfield. He's not trying to sell. He's not trying to tell where he's going or anything. Head down, shoulders down, telling me he's trying to get downfield. Or he's trying to sell that he's getting downfield. But as we all know what happens with this play, he's trying to get to a spot. So Fields is getting downfield. Defense is in zone. How you can tell, really, watch the linebackers. Watch the defense here. And we lose him. I'm watching Matt Ryan now. Matt Ryan's dropping back. So right around here, he sees that he's open. Right around here, maybe a little earlier. But he sees Pitts open, slings a rock. Pretty little ball. Puts it up there where Pitts can get it. Move my little cursor. And he makes the grab. Goes into the basket. Good catch there by Pitts. Again, makes the catch. Embraces for contact. Converts the catch. Hard to note because of the angle. We don't have the all 22 on this play. It's just his release here. I can't really say anything good or bad. It, it's standard. It, he's getting off the ball. He's getting quick. He's being assertive where he needs to go. I mean, he's doing good. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Matt Ryan sees him. Splitting the safeties. And bam, making the catch. Same play, different angle. So now we get to see what's going on. The play's kind of already started, but we know what happens in the beginning. So he's just getting off the line of scrimmage. This is how I, they're in zone here. Linebackers are sitting. And looks like it's more like a cover three look. And what's he going to do is he is going to get behind the safeties here. He's going to get behind the defense and make the play downfield. As the ball is in the air, they're going to collapse in on him. And bam, makes the catch. So really he's just finding the hole in the zone. He's getting downfield. And finds the hole. No one's on him. He snuck on past there and got the target. I'm watching Matt Ryan now. He's stepping back. So he notices Pitts right about here. So he's anticipating Pitts to be open downfield from what he sees from this big old gap that he's running into. And he steps back, makes the throw and the catch. Making it look like easy money. This next play is the touchdown pass to Pitts. Here we're going to do a little play action. Pitts is at the top of your screen. He's fighting. A little bit of press. He's getting jammed up here by 91. 91 can't cover him. 91 has no chance to cover him. Ryan sees that. Ryan sees what's going on here. Two things are going to happen. 91 should either push him all the way down to the dirt so he doesn't run the route or Pitts is going to escape. Uh, we all know the ladder is going to happen here. So here he just gets away. Any amount of separation, he's gone from 91. 91 has no chance, and he earns the target. Bam. Easy play. Pitch and catch. Mismatch. Play action. He fights the press good. I mean, it's not like this was a DB pressing up on him. His, he had to fight for this. Got good leverage on him. Speed and athleticism really got, really helped him out on this play. And now he was able to create enough separation there in the target, make the catch, and get the score. This play has already started. Pitts was operating out of the slot. 
He's in the middle of the three wide receivers at the top of the screen, halfway through his route. So we're not going to be able to see the release here, but really we're just going to watch him take in this reception. Wow. He's getting hit. Bam. So one thing you notice is the ball's coming to him. Reaches out for the ball, catches it with his hands, and that's even with some DBs breathing down his neck. I get it, they're not exactly on him, but when you're in this scenario, you're hearing footsteps. You know they're coming, but you still got to convert the play. That's what Kyle Pitts does. He boxes them out even. He turns his back to them. That way, they have to really do something to get to the ball, especially with his size. So Kyle Pitts here extends out, makes the grab, brings it in. Braces for contact, makes a good play there, and really, he's just all around good when it comes to getting open, boxing out defenders, using his size, using his athleticism. Think about this. He's only a rookie right now. We need to be patient with him, and he's been doing good this year, especially for a rookie tight end. Usually, it takes a few years for young tight ends to develop, and he's already doing some things early on in his career. He's a key player component to the passing game i get it. we've seen cordell patterson blow up calvin ridley's been doing his thing but honestly pitts is really gelling into this offense he's earning more targets he's getting some volume here and there um you cannot expect game busters out of him right out of the gate that's just not a good process to have but all in all from what i've seen from him from what we've seen from these two film studies that we've done on pitts Maybe we probably did three, I think. But everything we've seen from Pitts has been very good. Very good. Chris Brout running for a big guy. Boxes out well. Good hands. Good athleticism. And he's just going to smooth out, get better, develop as he transitions to the league. I'm excited for him. There's no way in hell you're going to be able to trade for him in Dynasty. You're going to have to pay half your team to get him. Everyone's going to have diamond fists on him redraft you might be able to sneak him if you think he's going to get more opportunity in offense i think it'll be a little bit volatile but for the tight end position for a guy getting that many targets a guy being top five in like air yards and target share and all that stuff out of his position might be a decent investment if you can just swing a, a middling player for him and make that transaction happen redraft those random ass scenarios happen a lot especially in home leagues so if you're looking for a tight end, if tight end's a spot you want to pin up a bit, you may want to think about Kyle Pitts because he may be cheaper to get. He may be easier to get via trade, maybe easier than a Hawkinson, maybe easier than anybody else. So you're making the top tier production because Pitts is getting good volume, good target share, good air yards, and everything else, which means he could hit even more once he gets more acclimated throughout the season. So that's something you want to think about. It could be a good play, especially if you got middling assets on your team that you, that are just roster cloggers that are good enough to be in your lineup, but really you could probably stream and get similar production. So if that's something you want to think about, that's something you could try. Um, very draft sticky because it's different from league to league different owners, managers, whatever, and trade values are very random and redraft. You think it's set in stone from what you see on social media and stuff, but man, some of these redraft leagues can get crazy, so go ahead and see if you can get him on the cheap. He's a rookie. He's only had a few good weeks on the season productivity-wise from a fantasy football standpoint, so you might be able to nab him up. Maybe wait for him to have a down week. You might be able to get him, but I like Kyle Pitts. You can tell from just scrolling the channel here. I've had a lot of good videos out on him, but Kyle Pitts is the dude. I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. It fuels me to keep putting out this content, fuels me to keep going over the tape with you guys, watching these players, helping you with your fantasy teams, going over all this with, with a different perspective. Heavy metrics, heavy film, and all of the above. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.